Hello, possums. Dramus Smith here. In Alphacraft, outstanding in my field. Never let it be said that I let the opportunity for a stupid joke go to waste. Now, unfortunately, Alphacraft has deadlines, so you get to listen to me like this. Sorry. <laughs> At least I've got more voice than I had. This is a good thing. So what am I doing out here in a field of cows? Well, over a week ago, I went looking for a base. And I didn't find one. I looked far and wide. I ended up on a beach next to a little Merzombi hut. And I thought, oh, this will be good. Icebergs in the distance, sea view. And then I thought, and what's to make it any different from anywhere else? Little did I know that if I'd gone a little further around the icebergs, I'd have found a bamboo forest. But hey, JJ and Wild found it, so yay. <laughs> so anyway, I was walking back and I thought, maybe the problem's not this world because everything's like uh, plains, forest, swamp, bit of mountains, same, same. And I thought maybe the problem's not the world, maybe the problem's me, maybe the problem is I'm not looking at it right. Well, I'm talking of looking at it right. Anyway, I came to that decision in this field and I thought, well, how about here? You know, I've got those mountains. They're actually quite big. There's a really good one at the front and then they stretch back. So it's a nice backdrop. That's not rendering in fast. But anyway, I've got this ravine, which is uncovered for its entire length. So that's cool. I've set up a little mining hut. We'll get to that in a minute. Let's go deal with these guys. I'm going to try out Frill's patented pillager pummeling method. We'll see how we go, which basically amounts to run round in circles, get them to shoot each other, and then pick off the stragglers. Come on, guys. Yeah, that's it. Ow. That's what I want to hear. Ow. I want to hear ow. Come on. Do some more owls. Just don't hit the pig. Ow. And let's not hit them with a stake. That's better. We've got more room here. So the trick is to run around in a big circle, not a tight circle. Okay, pillager dies. Woohoo. How many are left? One. And there's two more over there. Oh, these guys are menaces. I mean, seriously, they are just menaces. You're supposed to hit them, not leapfrog over them. Did it again? Oh. Come on, you. There we go. Right, now that we've taken the rubbish out. <sighs> this is where my base is going to be. I've got all this area to build in. Now, it's reasonably flat, but it is full of holes. Some of them go down to water. Some of them drop down into caves. Guess how I found that one out. Ha ha ha. But it is a nice area. There's roof forest over that way. I've got birch forest over there. I've got mountains here. A little bit of everything. And the sea's not too far over that way. So I'll just move the clock on. Oh, the rain, it raineth every day, I tell you. And these days I'm waking up at the crack of dawn. I mean, literally the crack of dawn. Weird. And those torches are over there because there's a weird lighting glitch. Anyway, while I haven't been able to talk, I've been doing all sorts of grindy things. So I have been collecting clay and making bricks. Yes, bricks. 
There's a point. <laughs> um, I did some really boring jobs on um, the Dreaming Dominion that I've been meaning to do for ages, so they're out of the way, so that was good. Um, I did something very grindy over there, which I'll show you later, and I started setting up my mine. Now, I do not strip mine. I do not branch mine. I don't poke hole mine because that one makes my teeth itch. Oh, my goodness, the amount of stuff you'd miss. I grid mine. We'll go down and have a look. But I thought we'll do something a bit different this time. So I've got four levels. Now, while that's labelled coal, that's just what I've called the level. Coal can actually be found anywhere below level 52 unless you're in mountains or in mesa the rules are different for those but you know this is plains so anywhere below level 52 optimum is between 5 and 52 iron anywhere below from 54 and below optimum 5 to 54 so while these are labeled iron and coal as I said, that's just a name I've given them. I've just got two extra levels here, 35 and 25. So if I mine out all the coal and iron here, I can come up to these two and pick up extra. That's all they're for. Now these two. This is my main mining level. Yes, I've got emeralds listed because it will eventually go under there. Um, diamonds are found level 12 and below. Same with redstone. Emeralds are 29 and below, so, you know, either of any of these three will be fine. So I should take that off the list. Um, but for diamonds and redstone, really, the optimum is nine. Yes, that puts me into lava. No, I don't care. And gold is anywhere below 29. Lapis is anywhere below 23. And the optimum for lapis is 14 to 16. So this really is my lapis level at 15. So we'll pop down. Uh, this is probably a good one to look at. <sighs> That's good. So what's a grid mine? Okay, we basically mine out in... A grid. Yeah, I can hear you. There's caves all over this place, I tell you. So my main corridor off um, my main mining area is three blocks wide for two reasons. One, to keep it symmetrical. Yeah, I know, I know. I really have to get over that. And two, so that when I'm coming back from a very long tunnel, which none of these are at the moment, I know I get to the three wide one. And the main mining area and the exits are going to be down that one. Torch is always on the right going out, always on the left coming back. So I mine along... Oh, yeah, sorry. So that's three blocks. Every other tunnel is two blocks wide. And I know this is probably more digging than I need to do. I don't care. So I dig along for four blocks. Torch on the third one on the right. And then I dig two more out. And then I do that all the way along. And then I come back here and I dig two blocks wide right the way along with a torch on the second block on the right. And I do that on each side. So I'm always mining out evenly. I deliberately haven't done this this time so that I had enough to show you this is what a grid mine looks like. Um, and the other reason for a grid mine is when we get right down to the bottom, I want to actually start making death markers down here, but I won't be doing that today. So there's a cave, uh, no, this way, off there that I have to deal with. Now, if we come down to this one, this is my lapis level. See this dirt in the corner? Abandoned mine. So that's going to be fun. We can deal with that. But we come down to this bottom one. So down to the bottom one. This is our diamond level. Got it all set up for my grid mine. And while I was doing that, look at this. <laughs> Could not believe it. Now, yes, I have picked 
picked up diamonds from chess. This is the first diamonds that I will mine on the server. Wish I had looting. I don't, but four diamonds. Wish I had looting. Don't care. This is a good start. So this is my mine. <laughs> All right, up to the top. So that's our mines, and I've got mine buildings to go over it and some mine infrastructure. Most of that bit of forest is going to have to come down, but I do need the wood. So we'll pop over this way now, and we'll have a look at the big grindy thing that I've been working on for the past week. Well, actually, it only took me a couple of days because I was too sick to do anything, so I did this. And this is this. If you've been watching Frill and Jackson Wild, and if you know, if you haven't, go watch them. They're brilliant. Go watch all the alphas. Oh, I love being on Alpha Craft so much. I love it. It's brilliant. Anyway, if you've been watching them, you've seen bits of this. This is my road. It goes all the way from here, which is what? Minus 1900, minus 600 approximately. All the way to Alpha by Spawn. There are bridges and boardwalks. There's a couple of tunnels. And yeah, at the moment, it is really, really ugly. It won't stay this way. I mean, it'll never be the Sistine Chapel ceiling or anything like that. It's the wrong way up for starters. But it will be more attractive than it is. So that's going to be a project we'll probably start working on next time. I'll fix up that little bridge by Alpha by Spawn so that um, Frilios can feel a little more comforted. <laughs> but um, that's my road. So I have a very fast horse. I have a very slow horse. Oh, my goodness. One of those two grey ones, it's like the slowest thing. You can run faster than it can gallop. The white one is very fast. And now with this, it's just five minutes to get from my base back to spawn. And I do realise that once we get the nether hub in and the nether tunnels going, it'll be redundant. But I don't care. I'll make it look like a, a going concern. I'll have fun with it. And really, that's all that matters. Plus... I will have a nice entrance way into whatever I build right here. See, rain and the crack of dawn again. I mean, what is going on? <laughs> I love Sea Love. Everyone go over, watch his channel. Hit his li the like button, and if you haven't subscribed to him, he is so much fun. Okay, here goes nothing. Oh, good. It's a dead end. <gasps> oh, no, that's lit up. That's, oh, phew. Oh, I don't need that today. I do need the coal. Ooh. Diamonds, lava, lots of lava. Okay, we need to go up a level. Oh, that's not bad. Right, well, that's an improvement. <coughs> Okay, something I have learnt from the other alphas. Dig right the way around all your diamonds so you make sure you don't lose any into lava and that you don't leave any stragglers behind. Oh, this is a good haul, isn't it? Look at this. Mm. 
Wow. Wow. Okay, let's see how many we've got. Oh my goodness, there's a creeper running around up there. That, I don't need, go away! Oh! How did I survive that? Here's the thing, greed will do you in every time. Go away! Uh, that was my own silly fault. Oh, there's a chest. Okay. Let's do what I should have done before I went for the diamonds, which is light everything up. Then worry about the loot. I want a bow. Well, actually, a bow's useless at the moment. I want arrows. <clears throat> yeah, there's a creeper just there. All right, we'll check out. <sighs> you are a pain in the bum. Right. Come on. Yay. Well, that worked. Right. I've gone and put my stuff upstairs. Oh, does that mean that's okay? Dig this out and see what's behind it. No. Oh, great. That was stupid. Let's just have a peek. Oh, it's unusual. One of these rooms that doesn't have anything off it. Oh, golden apple. Got to be happy with that. Oh, that doesn't look nice. Ravine. Shivers. Let's do this quickly. Right, we have to get up there so we can get that bit of um, iron back. Yes, I really am that stingy. And I am aware this could be a huge mistake. There's the lava. That's going to be fun to fix. Have to get it from the other side, I think. Yeah. 
and that's why you always mine out a couple of extra blocks. See Smurf, I learn. Okay, let's take care of this if we can. Hmm. Unpleasantly drippy, but fixed. That's it. That's our that's our iron. Oh, we get it back. Hooray. Okay. Now we can solve the drippy floor problem. Well, apart from the ravine that's down that way somewhere, I think that's it. It's not the world's biggest mine, but it's not bad. Let's get back up to our little hut and see what we pulled out of here. All right, we're back. So, as I said, not the world's biggest mine, but that's not a bad haul. That's not a bad haul at all. We probably should just tidy up a little bit. So we got some rails, some mine carts, golden apple, some gold ingots and an iron ingot, lapis, a bit of redstone, coal, and there was more than that, but I had to make torches. A couple of chests. Uh, there should be two more chests. Oh, yeah, it's the ones we're looking in. Duh. <laughs> Some seeds and some books. We've got Sweeping Edge 2. I'm very happy with that. Multi-shot and Fire Protection 3. That is not a bad day's work. I am quite happy. So on that note, <laughs> I'm going to take my croaky voice and I'm going to say see you later. So you know what to do. Whack the like button. Subscribe if you haven't hit the notification bell. Select all so that YouTube tells you when all my videos are out. Go check out the other alphas and I'm going to go croak off. <laughs> See you next time. Bye.